We're watching this situation very closely. This is coming from the Economic Collapse blog. But did you know an absolutely crippling national railroad strike could potentially start on July the 18th? If this actually happens, the historic supply chain crisis that we're experiencing right now will rapidly become far worse. Now, each year, trains in the United States transport approximately 1.7 billion tons of raw material and finished goods to their ultimate destinations. If that suddenly stops happening, our economy is just going to go down the toilet. Now, that may be a bit crude, but that's the reality of what we're potentially facing. So we better hope that national rail carriers and the unions representing the workers can come to an agreement before next Monday. Railroad freight traffic across the United States could come to a screeching halt July the 18th if progress isn't made on labor contracts between national rail carriers and their unions. Union officials stressed they do not want to go on strike, but argued they are being forced to consider the option in a bid to get better benefits, wages, and staffing. Now, we're not just talking about a partial paralysis of rail traffic. This would be a nationwide strike, and the entire system would suddenly be frozen. All right, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. But before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahak Wadash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and his only begotten son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites in these last days. I also want to give a shalom to our sincere brothers that's pushing teaching the truth worldwide. And shalom to you sincere believers. All right, and just land backing off the clip that, that was just uh, about a minute and 30 seconds long or a minute and 15 seconds. All right, going into a nation, a potential nationwide strike. All right, and they mentioned that though these trains carry raw materials and finished good and finished products. Okay, so this is on this is a potential, you know, um, tr uh, troubling time. Okay, and it, it mentioned the reason that you know they will they would go on strike because of the benefits, the wages. All right, so th this is rebellion, and this is a truly an uproar of the people, as the scriptures speak about as well in the previous chapter. You know, I grab that really quick, straight to the point. Second Edward chapter 15, verse 16, it reads. For there shall be sedition among men, sedition going into rebellion. People are these, these the workers are going on what? Strike. That's rebellion. It says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. And well, that'd be the next step. Once they go on strike, people are going to need whatever raw materials they're going to need and products, man. Okay. It says they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right. And they mentioned the date of July 18th. Today's date being the uh July 14th. OK, so hey, the days of trouble are at hand. Potential that can this can easily happen. All right. But people you know they, they they're you know, they're living in a uh, a whole nother mindset. that don't think troubling times can come upon America. Troubling times can come upon the world. All right. They're not they're not paying attention to what's going on. But that's why the Lord has anointed his men, his messengers to push the, the warnings all right, to our people. And our people being you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans who are scattered worldwide, all right, all over the world, okay? This message and this warning is for you, okay? So, um, continuing on, it says, no, it's All right, I'm going to go to 2nd Edward chapter 16, verse 18, all right? It says, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, all right? So, these, every, you know, all these current events that's taking place in the world, this, these, these are all the beginning of sorrows, and this one, what it what, the nationwide strike concerning the United States, all right, with with the trains and the transportation of goods, that's those that's great sorrows, man. Okay, those are great sorrows. That's the beginning of famine. That's the beginning of great death from people acting the fool. All right, and say it doesn't happen July eighteenth, it can it can happen any date. All right, any date. All right, and according to Bible prophecy, it will guarantee happen. It's just a matter of when. All right. It says the beginning of wars, the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? All right, now, of course, that was Ezra after receiving that understanding and receiving those visions. All right, he was, you know, he's seen how terrifying these times that we're living in right now were, you know, verse 19. Behold, famine. It, which is dying of starvation. That's exactly what's going to happen when those when those grocery stores miss those when, when those grocery stores don't have those uh buses drop off the food or the fit or the raw materials and finished goods, finished products. 
All right. And the trains won't be able to transport from state to state. This is this, this doesn't have to do with Texas or Georgia. This said the, this, the video clip mentioned a nationwide. All right. Nationwide. It says, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute. So this is this is a hey, Lord doing all this judgment to put forth correction upon his people. You Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans, man. OK. And people are not uh, realizing that we are in bad times. We are in evil times. It's not getting any better. All right. You see the inflation. You see the. And that's the reason why they're going on strike. They need more. You know, they want more benefits. They want more wages to keep up with the economy because the economy is, is uh in its entirety is collapsing. All right. This is Ephesians chapter five, verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. And that's paying attention to what's going on in the world. That's paying attention to what's going to going on in the world and relating it and correlating it back to Bible prophecy. All right. It says, redeem, verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right. You know, prioritizing our, your repentance to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the time, your devotion. All right. And building up your faith. Why, why the evil days come not? Because we prior, we, we redeem in the time. Because we understand the days, these days are about to get worse and worse. All right. You know, the days of trouble are at hand. Okay. I also want to grab 2 Thessalonians. Chapter 2, I'm going to get at the top. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. It reads, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and by our gathering unto, together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled. And that's exactly the spirit that we're hoping to be in when all this chaos and all the trouble does take place. We're, we're hoping to not be shaken in mind. You know, like, because many people that don't understand Bible prophecy, they don't understand what's what's up next. All right. Because we understand that through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, as it states in Acts chapter 14, verse 22. So, but others not knowing of the scriptures and not understanding, you know, what's truly going on according to the Bible, what's or truly having no answers, they're going to be shaken in mind. And that's exactly the spirit that we're trying to stay away from. Okay. That ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled. Neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that as that the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Okay? And we understand that all these prophecies are taking place because Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior of the Israelites, is about to return to the planet Earth to judge. All right? But also to what? Deliver his will. All right? So that's that's exactly what's about to take place. So let me, uh, and I ended off with, you know, 2 Edward chapter 16. All right? Second Edward chapter sixteen verse um straight to the point. It's second Edward chapter sixteen verse seventy four. It reads, let me highlight this one as well. You know what? Second Edward chapter sixteen verse seventy four. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. All right, in this in this uh, nationwide sh uh, train strike. You know, I'm just emphasizing this specific point to show the day. This is just one aspect. That's just one that can have everything, you know, go into shambles, have the whole economy just collapse. These reporters are not reporting on these issues for no reason, man. OK, we are in the last days. It's time to repent. Turn back to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Of course, and his only begotten son. All right. It says here, oh, you might be little, said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I would deliver you from the same. So why in the midst of all this chaos and troubling and, you know, violence and killing, whatever, everything that's going to be taking place, the Lord's going to deliver us from, from right in the midst. OK, verse 75. And of course, we got to believe in hope and, and have faith in the scriptures. All right. Verse 75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your guide. All right. So we're, we're going to look to be protected and we're going to look, look to be guided. You know, in all hell, and this is this one we you always hear the, the uh you will always hear if you if you uh, listen to the videos and pay attention to the to the prophets, all right, that are teaching on the on the streets near you, okay, the Hebrew Israelites, all right, all hell breaking loose, all right. This is one uh gradualism aspect of the nationwide train strike that can that can have it um that can have these prophecies uh go to the next step, man, and hit its climax concerning Jacob's trouble. Okay, but yes, it's be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. All right, and, and, the, and the Most High, heavenly, his true name being Yahweh, and his only begotten son's name being Yahweh Shai. All right, so Lord willing, 
You know, this, edif- this lesson was edifying and also encouraging to you sincere believers concerning, you know, an update of what's going on in the world and how, of course, you know, it relates to Bible prophecy. You know, the scriptures speak of these these troubling times that's coming upon the earth. All right. So, Lord willing, you know, uh, that was edifying. I went out by giving all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rechach Wadash. All right. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Hey, Shalom. Repent. Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent. Yahweh Shai is coming back.